uh, Mr. Chair and Ranking Member Crapo for holding this hearing, and thank you to our witnesses for testifying today. Um, I wanted to start with a question to you, Ms. Pope. Um, the year-end relief package contained my bipartisan bill to increase access to capital for residential and commercial energy storage projects. I'm also a supporter of bipartisan efforts led by Senator Heinrich and others to strengthen tax incentives for energy storage. Ms. Pope, how do battery storage incentives help improve the reliability of the electrical grid and cut costs for consumers? Thank you, Senator Hansen. Um, battery storage is an absolute critical component to the future of the reliability of our systems, uh, both connected uh, with the generation uh, by renewables, um, as well as uh, for reliability of the distribution system, let's say connected with substations, as well as also an individual homes for reliability and resiliency. And as we look at the grid of the future, we will be able to store solar and wind energy for use during times when the wind is not blowing or the sun is not shining and be able to have truly a bi-directional integrated, much more reliable grid. For example, Portland General, um, together with Next Era Energy Resources, just brought online the wind portion of the largest uh, scale solar, wind, and battery storage facility in Eastern Oregon. And what that does uh, to the prior discussion on transmission, it allows us to utilize better the transmission that goes across the state um, on more of a 24 seven basis when you otherwise would not be generating because that storage has been able to store the wind, the solar. And in the future with Senator Wyden's bill would be also be able to store the wind. So that's very, very important component as we move forward and technology is moving very quickly. Thank you for that answer. I wanna move now to Jason Walsh. Mr. Walsh, I've introduced bipartisan bicameral, bicameral legislation along with Senator Collins to modernize and expand energy efficiency tax incentives. The energy efficiency sector is one of the largest clean energy employers with millions of workers spread out across every state. Our bills would expand tax credits for homeowners who upgrade appliances and improve incentives for building new energy efficient homes. Can you comment on how promoting energy efficiency can simultaneously create high quality jobs reduce homeowners' energy bills, and help fight climate change? Thank you for the question, Senator. Well, well, you're right. It, it does all of those things. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a triple win. Uh, the, the only thing I would add to, to, to the very useful way you framed the question, uh, which I completely agree with, is that it is actually the, the if you look at the, the U.S. Energy Employment Report, is it's the energy efficiency jobs are the biggest source of clean uh, energy economy jobs uh, in our entire economy. Uh, there, there is uh, a ton of good building trades work in particular that is done on energy efficiency as we move to more fully deploy energy efficiency resources across the country and across the economy in multiple sectors. The, the job growth potential uh, is really significant. We obviously care a lot about the quality of those jobs and access to those jobs but energy efficiency is enormously important and I'm really glad you asked the question and are such a champion on energy efficiency issues. Thank you very much. Um, I have another question. Uh, I have additional legislation, the Net Meter Act, that would support the renewable energy market by helping states expand net metering programs. Net metering allows consumers and businesses to reduce their electric bills by compensating them for renewable energy that they produce and return to the grid. So Mr. Walsh, can net metering complement our efforts to fight climate change by strengthening solar and wind tax incentives? I, I think you can, Senator. We've done comparatively little work on net metering, but but on, on the legislation you mentioned, we'd be happy to talk with you further and work with you further on that. Thank you very much. Uh, last question to you, Mr. Walsh. The tax code currently hands numerous special tax giveaways to big oil including the special deductions for oil drilling. How do these special tax giveaways for big oil hurt our efforts to combat climate change and create good paying clean energy jobs? Senator, we, we don't take a position on, on those tax credits. We, we are much more focused on the affirmative tax credits that can be made 
that invest in energy efficiency and new renewable energy generation and, 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 and doing so in an equitable way. Well, I, I thank you for your care with that answer. I'd suggest uh, that those tax credits um, should um, be um, eliminated as we transfer to clean energy tax incentives. Thank you. Thank you.